Today, as you can see, we're at a velodrome, the Manchester one to be specific. It is one of the legacy venues from the 2002 Commonwealth. And in the two decades since those games, it has become the home of British cycling, the most successful team in the world when it comes to Olympic and Paralympic medals. I'm here with Sports Aid to meet one of the latest rising stars of the sport who's hoping to push for the podium in Paris. Hi, um, I'm Mark Jackinson. I'm a C4 paracyclist for GBCT. I'm scratch race world champion and three times national champion on the road and track. I think I've always been very competitive. Like, I don't like losing. I only, only ever like winning a sport, like a card game or like a video game. I've always been a very competitive person. Tell me about two million percent. You're a pretty determined guy. It's sort of, a, I think it's a joke that sort of <laughs> happened on the world's application form I put in. Um, I give two million percent into everything I get. Archie is a bundle of joy and energy, and I really, honestly mean that. Two million percent is everywhere. It's actually part of our, we have like what I call the winning behaviours, which is sort of a set of behaviours that as a foundation group that we've agreed as a team to abide by. And two million percent is on there because of Archie, because um, he absolutely puts two million percent into everything. Then became a joke and then became an actual thing where everything I go into, I put everything I got and more. Tell us some of the, the, the challenges you've overcome in your life to get to the, the summit of your sport. Sort of sh struggling in school, really bullying and sort of like academically. I've got ADHD and the neurological orders. We, we always thought there was something to do with sort of physical, but couldn't quite put a pin on it. And then going to classification last two years ago and finding out I have CP and which is the one, spasticity. It was a bit of a shock. I've got, I've got autism. I think very few, I don't know many riders or the athletes in the world with autism. I'd say it's sort of a superpower, I'd say. It's the same as the ADHD. Sort of it allows you to super focus. You see a goal and that's the only thing you want. Rather than getting distracted, you sort of tunnel vision. And that's the only thing you want. And that's the only thing you will come out with. And you'll try two million percent you for it. Give two million percent for it as well. I want to talk about that, that time leading into the World Championships though. Obviously some challenges and, and, yeah. and losing a close friend as well. So I mean, t tell us about what you're kind of going through. C coming into the Worlds before that happened, I was sort of very, ha very happy. We were, me, me and Magnus were going to meet up at some point during the Worlds. And then finding out, I think, I think it was a day or two before the pursuit. I remember, I remember exactly where I was in the hotel room, sat on my bed and it came up on news. It's hard to reset after find that information we managed to sort of think I've got a job here to do but yeah I think now especially I carry his sort of fire and passion as well which I think helps in the races I know he's with me sort of supporting me. What did that world success mean to you given what you'd been through? So it was speechless I didn't really believe it I came across the line it was just utter, it was utter shock like I came, came into the world just wanting if possible a top 10 yeah, it was unreal. I've cried quite a few times, I have to say. Every kid's dream to win a world, world title. Now, I will go into a race thinking, yeah, I can, I can win. I, I'm, I'm the best rider here. Tell us about what it means to have that shield now, to be you know, among the elite and the ones to watch for sports aid. This is quite amazing. I was reading up it the other day, people who won and been nominated and got seconds. There's a list, a whole list of Olympians and Paralympians. It feels quite nice to be acknowledged. Yeah. And to be get to get second in the first year is quite r remarkable, I'd say. It's going to go prior to the mantelpiece, I think. The way sports allows us to train and not have to do another job on the side yeah. makes the goal of getting medals and winning makes it a lot easier. What is your ultimate dream? The ult ultimate dream is to be the best Paralympian GB and the world's ever had. So it's quite a cocky dream, I would say. But it's sort of, I'd love to sit down with kids or grandkids and then show them a haul of medals and jerseys and say, this, this is what I've done and you, you can achieve anything. My view on sort of life and sort of happiness is no point being unhappy. Hard points of your life make you 
lot stronger. I make those good times like 10 times better.